notes app today is a lot different than it was just a few years ago. I used to use it mostly as a way to remember random things like, you know, put together a grocery list or an address I needed to remember, but I never actually used it as like your typical note taking app. But over the years, Apple has made some updates, made some changes, and I think I can now honestly say that the notes app is pretty good. Uh, so much so that I've actually transitioned into using it as my full-time note taking app for all of my work slash school related needs. So with this video, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts with you guys and seven reasons why I think some of you guys should give it a try as well. The first and one of the main reasons why I switched to Apple Notes is the simple and clean folder setup. Now, I know many of you are familiar with folders, so I won't go into much detail here, but for me, simple and straightforward organization is extremely important, and I feel like this app does a decent job of that. Now, if we look here, if we click on iCloud, you can see kind of all the folders that I have. So we have notes, miscellaneous research, and YouTube, and some of my subfolders, which is presentation scripts and YouTube ideas. Again, this is super simple, super straightforward, and it's, it's something I appreciate in a notes app. Another feature that I use quite often and find super helpful is the ability to add a link to a note. Now this can be a PDF, a website, or even another note. Now I did not know you could do this and when I found this out I started using it a lot. So just to kind of demonstrate, uh, if I expand this note. Now this is an article I have to give a presentation on. Um, and down here I have some notes on serotonin that I want to include in my presentation. Now, if I want to link another note that I have on serotonin to this one, which I do want to reference later, um, I just click here, I'm going to highlight serotonin. And then here we have add link, click there. Now here we can enter a URL or just a note title, type in serotonin, and here's that note I'm looking for. So click, hit add, hit done. Um, and now it turns the highlighted portion into a link that I can then click on and it'll take me to that note. Um, this is super, super useful, super helpful. Uh, I've been using this a ton, especially when putting together presentations and I have multiple notes that I want to reference. But uh, yeah, this is, this is super cool. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Now, one of the biggest draws for Apple Notes would definitely be the seamless connection between Apple devices. Now, obviously this pro is contingent on a person having more than one Apple device, but if you're someone like myself and you have an iPhone, a MacBook, or maybe an iPad, then I think you'll really appreciate the seamlessness of the sharing between devices. And just quickly as an example, if I type something quickly out here, we can see how quickly it shares from one device to the other. This is definitely one of those features that can kind of be overlooked, but it's honestly very convenient and very well optimized on these devices. Plus, I don't know about you guys, but I find other apps such as Notability that do offer sharing across devices. I often find myself having to pay for a subscription to access the feature, so I'm happy to have it here and not have to cough up money for a feature that I, you know, kind of consider to be pretty basic and kind of necessary in a notes app. Now, security is something I can appreciate because locking notes isn't something that's always available in all note taking apps. So I do appreciate it here. You can do that a couple of ways. You can just press and hold here and you can click lock note. Or if you expand a note and hit the three dots, you can just hit lock. Apple's face and touch ID is already quick and responsive. And when you combine that with Apple Notes, it just makes the locking and unlocking process just super quick and simple. And it's something I can just appreciate and something I wanted to mention here in this video. Now, a couple of features that I was aware of, but ones that I kind of underestimated are the ability to scan a document and to add a signature. So you can scan a document a couple of ways. You can go up here to the camera, hit scan documents or even scan text. And you can also come up here to the three dots and hit uh, scan on the top left. So that's super helpful if you need to, you know, scan a passport, driver's license, or, you know, any random sheet of paper that you'd like to add to a note. Um, and you can also add a signature by coming up here to the pen tool, hitting the plus icon and hitting add signature. Click there. And now you can make this as big and small, small as you'd like. Um, drag it around and yeah, you can just use that to sign, you know, any documents or papers that you want to send off electronically. Uh, super helpful. I've definitely been using this a lot more. Lastly, I just wanted to touch on some of the different ways that Apple Notes provides easy access to notes on their devices. To start off, let's talk about the MacBook. Now, there are a couple of shortcuts that I personally use to access the Notes app. 
The first one is simple. You simply hit the function key along with the letter Q. This will automatically open up a quick note, which will allow you to quickly make a note whenever you want to jot something down. Another way to access quick notes is by enabling hot corners. This will then allow you to drag your mouse to the corner and start a quick note. Now, if you don't want to start a quick note and instead just want to open the notes app and get to a specific note, then I typically just use the spotlight feature. It's quick, easy, and gets me to the app that I want, so no complaints. Now, both iPhones and iPads offer similar kinds of easy access. For example, much like the MacBook, here we again have the Spotlight feature to get to the Notes app, which again is just simple and convenient and is the way I open the Notes app 80% of the time. iPad OS also allows you to set up hot corners to quickly open the Notes app. To do this, you're going to want to go to Settings. Next, you're going to want to scroll down to Notes. Click on Notes. After that, you're going to want to scroll down until you find Corner Gestures. And now here you can pick which corner you'd like to access Quick Notes from. And now when I swipe up from the corner, you can see that it just pulls up a quick note, which is really nice and handy. Also, I do just want to say I highly suggest turning off resume last quick note. That way your new notes don't merge with your old ones. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of any way to set up quick notes as a hot corner on iPhone, but it is available on iPad for those of you who want to check it out. Also, on both iPads and iPhones, you have the ability to add quick notes as a widget on your lock screen, which is just a nice, convenient and easy way to be able to get to notes without having to unlock your phone. Now, you can also set up both your iPhone and iPad to access quick notes from the control center. To do this, you're going to want to open settings and go to control center. Once you go to control center, you just scroll down until you find quick note. If you don't see yours towards the top, you'll just have to scroll down a little bit and just add it to your control center. Once you do this, you should be able to just pull down your control center and start a quick note. And again, this is just a really nice way to be able to access Apple Notes. For me personally, you can't have too many options and this is a good one. Now, Apple Notes isn't perfect. There are definitely some cons like for some reason, there's no ability to highlight notes that you've typed, which I think is kind of weird in a notes app. Also, I don't use smart folders, but for some reason with smart folders, you can't put a like a folder within a folder, which to me defeats the purpose of a folder. So yeah, I don't know, just kind of weird. Now, this is more of a preference than a con, but I just think it's weird that PDFs kind of pop up horizontally and you have to scroll horizontally through pages. But, you know, again, I just think that's probably more of like my preference. And finally, something I think I'd like to see in Apple Notes is the ability to have expanding and collapsible lists within a note. Again, that's not really a con, but, you know, just a feature that I think I'd like to see added in the future. Now, whether or not Apple Notes is right for you really comes down to your workflow and what you look for in a good notes app. But I personally feel like it satisfies a lot of the requirements that people look for in a good note taking app. So I just want to share this with you guys. Maybe it'll inspire some of you guys to make the switch as well. But if you guys have any thoughts, any questions, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.